Good morning, class, and welcome to uh, Managerial Accounting, ACC 202. I'm your instructor, Al Wallace, and this is a short video on how the class works. Uh, so what's this class all about? Well, this class is all about finding the managerial accounting truth. We're all looking for the truth, right? So it's what about, what is this truth? And uh, we're going to be asking this question, how will my business do if I make a certain kind of a change? So if I make this change, what's going to happen? Are things going to be better? Are things going to be worse? And it's all about changes that we're going to be making and how they affect the future. Now, in the first chapter, we're going to talk about some terms. Uh, we're talking about some things that you need to understand about, say, product cost and period costs. And you, you just get you familiar with how the language of managerial accounting acts. And then we'll look into cost, volume, profit analysis. This is probably the most practical chapter, uh, the, the one you can probably get the most good out of in the real world. Uh, next, in chapter 20, we're going to talk about profit control and cash budgets. Uh, then in chapter 21, we'll be dealing with flexible budgets and return on investment. And again, all these things have to do with if I make this change, how is it going to affect the future? Then in chapter 23, we'll talk about relevant information for decision making, like uh, should I offer a special price to a, you know, to a big customer or should I make or buy things, that kind of thing. Then in chapter, uh, well, it's not really a chapter, it's an appendix in the back of the book. It's the time value money. Extremely important concept, time value of money. They're really, really important. And once we understand that, then we'll get into the final chapter that deals with capital investing and payback because understanding the time value of money is uh, important for you understanding how capital investing decisions are made. Okay, so that's what the class is all about. Now, let's do some housekeeping. Uh, late assignments and makeup work. Uh, late assignments are not accepted. I don't have any bonus points either in the class. A withdrawal policy. Whatever uh, our current calendar is for this semester regarding the last day to withdraw with a W, that's what we'll use in this class. Student responsibilities. It is your responsibility uh, to have a backup plan if your computer goes out or if your internet goes out. The book we're going to use is called Financial and Managerial Accounting. It's the latest edition. It's the ebook. You don't need to buy anything, but if you like to buy something physical to hold on to, then our bookstore will offer some type of uh, loose leaf version of the book uh, at, at a cheap, well, I say cheap, less than $20 for the, for the book. And I've said in the other class that this book will cover two classes. It will be good for two classes. Now, um, let's see, anything else? Um, how this class works. I'm going to suggest to you what I would recommend if I were taking the class. So here it goes. Before I took any exams or did any homework, I would, number one, read the chapter. I would, two, do the smart book exercise to help you kind of uh, see what you don't know and what you do know and try to help you get to know most important concept of the chapter. Then I would try some practice. They're not for credit, but practice study, uh, quick study problems, because the way you learn accounting is to work the problems, right? And then every homework or problem that I'm going to ask you to do, there's a, at least one video that you can look at to see how it's done. But so watch the video. So once you've done all four of those things, uh, homework. There's unlimited attempts on homework. Homework is not timed. Again, you can watch the video or videos, depending on the situation, uh, to see how things are done. And I will only record your high score. Then on exams, you get two attempts on exams. They are timed. You can hover over an exam information on Connect, and it'll show you how much time you get. It'll show you what the points value is and so on and so forth. And on those, I only accept the highest score also. So what's my grade based on? Well, your grade will be based on your total points that you earned divided by the points uh, for all assignments. That will give you some type of percentage for total points. 
And then, for example, 90% of the total points would equal the lowest A, and then we have 80% for a B, 70% for a C, and of course 60% for a D. And sometimes I need to change that, uh, not usually very often, but sometimes I need to make some changes. And as soon as I make a change, I'll let you know as quick as you can, uh, as quick as I can know, as I know that I got to make a change. Okay, attention. All assignments are visible on Blackboard. So there won't be any assignments that'll pop up new every week. They're all visible for the whole for the whole course, the whole semester. Uh, all of due dates are visible on Blackboard. So you know from day one when all assignments are due. And then third, there's no final for this class. Now, this is a financial aid warning. Uh, you need to complete a handful of assignments that are going to have a due date within five to seven days of the start date of the class. I am required to report you as a no-show if you don't complete all of those beginning assignments. So keep that in mind. And if you are reported as a no-show, then it could endanger your financial aid. So you need help with content questions? Uh, that's me. I can help you with any kind of content questions you're going to have. Uh, be very specific when you ask me a question because that will help me get you help quicker. Uh, you can email me on your laptop or you can text me on your phone. Uh, sometimes I offer uh, video conferences and also text support, that kind of thing. Now, or you can call me. Uh, and again, uh, if it's a really big problem, then we can get on the phone and talk to each other or we can have a conference on Teams. Okay, you need technical question help. That's something I cannot help you with. Uh, it's something about maybe your computer is not working well with, with Connect or Blackboard. Uh, with, if it's Connect, you can call 1-800-331-5094. And they are very good. They're very quick to respond. And they usually fix most problems the first time around. Uh, let's see. Uh, now, if you already have a Connect account, and you're logging into the 202 class, and you've already taken 201, let's say, then uh, here's something that might be helpful to you if you if you try to keep trying to log in and you only are getting the 201 class. Of course, this may not apply to any of you, but we'll see what happens here. So if you have that problem, you may not have it, but if you do have the problem, then you click on the Connect ACC 202 class link. If the, link, if the link takes you to 201 instead, then log out of 201 class and then log back into 202 uh, and you should be okay. Like I said, 99% of you are not going to have this problem, this issue, but if you do, this is how to fix it. And then email if you still have a problem.